Good Thursday afternoon, everybody. April 5th, 2018. We roll into another edition of Talking Fitchburg. Thank you for joining us. Preston, Jeremy, Andrew, we're here. We're ready. And we're kind of warm. Kind of yeah, cold. I'm actually kind of cold. That's why I kept the sweatshirt. That's, I'm, it I'm tweeny. Today. I'm like a tweener today. I could, yeah. I could go with the jacket, but yeah, yeah. I'm okay. Yeah. I'm okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm susceptible to the weather. As you know. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I get very cold. Mm -hmm. I get very hot. Mm -hmm. So it's like, that's tough, man. You get very human. I'm like a cold-blooded animal. <laughs> I need pretty... a heat lamp. But then when you put the heat lamp on me, I'm like, that's eh, enough. It's too hot. Andrew? Hi. What are you, warm-blooded, cold-blooded, or no-blooded? Hot-blooded. Oh. Check I'm, it and see. I'm warm all the time. Yep. So there you go. Mm. Hey, sometimes it pays off. Sometimes you get in the dead of August, and who doggy? That's trouble. <laughs> who doggy? You know what I mean? I, I can I yep. can see. I can see where Starts you're coming with T, from. Starts with T, that rhymes with B. Pool. <laughs> Shout out to the Music Man. Speaking of the Simpsons. Speaking of the Music Man. That's a good episode. When they get the monorail, boom. Did boom. you see the follow-up? Christy and I were just getting caught up for some of the newer ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. follow up to what oh happened to the monorail gosh. after. Wow. I need to check in on this. I, I was I saw what happened in uh, in New Haverville just down the street. It was they bankrupted <laughs> down. But anyways. <laughs> you we digress. I do. I do. Oh uh, wait, what's the donut company in The Simpsons? Is it lard? Is it something yeah, lard? Yeah, I think it is lard donuts, yeah. Something like right. that. Uh, sounds that, right. That always just is just those inside jokes. I just I like that. They're great. Mm-hmm. Well, I, we, the wife and I really like Bob's Burgers. Mm -hmm, that's, mm -hmm. that's, that's a good show, too. We can't get enough of that. It's good, 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 good. It's good stuff. And then there's Andrew. Hi. <laughs> hey, Andrew. Hi. What? <laughs> you like those shows? Uh, I really haven't you honestly watch watched much. Bob's Burgers. It's okay. Simpsons? Oh, yeah, I like The Simpsons. They're I haven't enjoyable. watched it in a long time, but I definitely enjoy The Simpsons. Yep. Hmm. Right now, you know, it's kid programming and oh, then... Yeah. Yeah, we do a lot of yeah. uh, Sesame, Sesame Street, Doc McStuffins. Oh okay. yeah, love Doc yeah. McStuffins. I we're, do too. She's amazing. Mm. She's a she's we're a stuffed animal now. doctor. Okay. She's she's legit. You know, my kids are turning into me. They're now watching gaming. People play games through Amazon Video. They oh, basically yeah. have YouTube series of there you go. people gaming, just like I do. And I'm sure Lily my, will find her way. My wife. Everyone's gonna find head. their way. Mm -hmm. Now I have a question about. The show uh, Sesame Street coming up, but we'll deal with it later. I'll save it. We'll Kay. check it. We'll check back in with Preston in. at the end of the show. Okay. Let's tell you what's coming up on the show today. We're going to take you out to yesterday's uh, groundbreaking at Noble Knights. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll get you a little update uh, on what that's going to look like. The digest segment. We're uh, checking in with our uh, dose of reality. Yep. In a collection uh, piece coming up here in April. Uh, we'll get you uh, all the info. To, uh, excuse me on that. Then we're talking about the second annual Earth Day Run 5K. Earth Day Run 5K. Earth Day um, 5K. Because uh, it rhymes. It. Rolls off the tongue. Yes, you should have done it. <laughs> you probably should have done it. Anyway, Michelle stopping by from H&H. &H. Uh, we'll get an update on what that race is all about. And great fundraising piece there. So mm. yeah, you're going to want to attend that. Indeed. And wrap up the show. Some PP and j fun. But first, as I'd mentioned, members of the press and everybody else in between, they were invited to a little groundbreaking yesterday for the new Noble Knights games coming to uh, Fitchburg in the Commerce Park Drive area. Take a peek. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome. For those of you who don't know me, I am Paige uh, with the Fitchburg Chamber, and we are so excited to be here today uh, for the ribbon or the groundbreaking ribbon cutting coming up this fall, hopefully. Right. Um, for Noble Knights, and um, we are so excited to have this business come to Fitchburg with the world's largest selection of games. Absolutely. Um, and I know that you'll have uh, shipping, receiving, office space, retail space, and gaming space. That's correct. So uh, for all the gamers here, um, I'm sure you're all very excited about this. And I also know um, the city of Fitchburg is very excited, and I know um, that our, our fine mayor, Jason Gonzalez, would like to say a few words, so I'll turn it over to you. Well, on behalf of the city, I'd like to thank you for choosing Fitchburg to grow here. It's a great opportunity for the city and, and for your business, so again, welcome, and uh, we're glad you're here, and we look forward in the next few months to the ribbon cutting. All right, thank, thank you very much. So we're here for the groundbreaking of Noble Knight Games. We're uh, starting to break ground on our new 45,000 square foot facility where we're going to have all our operations under one roof. 
And we have a great retail store, a great gaming area, and all of our offices and operations. We're very excited. The front of the building is going to be a castle, actually, so we're looking forward to being quite a destination here in Pittsburgh in the Midwest, and we'll be carrying the, the castle motif kind of throughout the building inside as well. Uh, inside, we're going to have a, a, a large 3,000 square foot uh, gaming area, 3,000 square foot store, offices, and then the remainder will be our warehouse and supporting our e-commerce operation. I started about 20 years ago in my basement in my boxers. <laughs> so I didn't think that this would ever happen. It's a, it's a really important day. Dan has really given me the motivation to try and take this to the next level. After 20 years, you do get a little tired, and now I'm excited again, and, and his uh, vibrancy on this project is amazing. And, you know, we're all smiles here today, despite the fact it's cold and a little snowy. <laughs> yeah, pretty much exclusively tabletop games, so board games, card games, role-playing games, miniature games, anything you play around the table with your friends or family. Uh, we're, just, we're excited for the building to be, uh, to be up and running, and we, we can't wait to be a great part of the community and, uh, and be a destination and let, have a lot of people come in and play games and, and uh, just be a great place to be in Fitchburg. Have uh, fun on a, on a weekend or a night. Uh, we're gonna be, uh, we hope to open by Black Friday at the latest. Uh, we're not sure if we're going to make that, but that's definitely our goal. Um, just to reiterate what Dan said, we know there's a ton of uh, gamers up here in Madison. It's a fantastic gaming community. And we hope that we're really going to deliver something special for them that they're going to enjoy. There you go. This is going to be a fun place. We're all yeah. we're all pumped here yeah, at Fat TV to really head cool. over there and uh, play some games. Oh, yeah. yeah. And if the uh, if they open up by Black Friday, I say we do the show from there. <laughs> hey, that'd be sweet. Uh, yeah. There's a special show right there. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, yeah. It looks cool. It'd looks be awesome. more like it's a game. Like we'll just set up and just play a board game. I'm down. That's the show. All right. You heard it here. It up. All right. Uh, let's, uh, let's move on, uh, Preston, and talk about uh, a little solar. Yeah, a little solar talk, just kind of a, a reminder, since we talked about before, uh, Renew Wisconsin, they have announced their uh, Solar for Good Spring 2018 grant cycle uh, that's coming up here and is uh, happening right now, actually. And in this grant cycle, they are awarding $110,000 to nonprofit organizations, uh, houses of worship, to help install solar electric systems. So uh, that's a great opportunity for if you're a member of either of those organizations. Uh, again, you can head over to the city's website. We have a link there with a whole bunch of information, the application forms, all that good stuff, the requirements that you need to meet because uh, it does have some specifics to it. But, yeah, just head on over there to the City of Fitchburg website uh, and make sure you get this in by Monday, April 9th. So you got just this weekend to go. All right, fantastic. Another reminder, the Swan Creek Park Community Garden gardener application period still open folks so if you want to get in on this you need to do it soon a garden planning meeting and work day will be scheduled in april soon after the application period closes gardener applications can be found by clicking on additional info link which is up at the website and if you need a hard copy of this just come right down to the city hall 5520 lacy road head up to the third floor all nice folks up there yeah uh -huh. except susan no i'm just kidding I just have to call her out. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, if you need any other info, you can uh, contact Scott Endel. He's uh, number and contact info right there on the screen for you. Wow. Right there. How convenient. Wow. That was very convenient. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, do you like fire trucks? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Who doesn't? It was a trick question, Jeremy. I know. The Verona, the Verona Fire Department, they are having their open house for their uh, new fire station. It's been open for a little bit, they said here on their uh, Facebook post, but Saturday, April 14th from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m., uh, it's going to be open. You can go through. They're going to have guided tours of it, and we're just also noting this because uh, Fitchrona EMS I was also just going to say that. housed that, right there. Yeah, their, uh, their main offices and everything are yeah. there, so... You're gonna to want to make sure you get out that. We're gonna to try to get a crew out there as well. Yep. And uh, cover uh, cover. It's a pretty cool dig. From what I've, I've seen there. from the outside, looks awesome. Yeah. So I'm excited I've to see. On, I've been to a few places on the inside. It's Ooh. it's pretty pretty nice. Pretty He's nice. got the inside scoop. Whoa. Right there, this guy. <laughs> All right. Uh, last but not least for your headlines today, reach for a taste. Hmm. hmm. Reach. What does reach that mean? It? What is reach? Oh, it's Reach a Child. Oh. Oh, that's right. Hey, uh, Reach for a Taste is a fundraiser for Reach a Child. It's going to be held at uh, Dream House Dream Kitchens, 5117 Verona Row. This is on April 26th from 6 to 9 p.m. The cost is 25 uh, to $35. And you've got, uh, this is great, mm -hmm. beer tasting. Got going that going on. You've got uh, 
and uh, reach for a taste wine tasting. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, it's a fun fundraiser. You can see here you got a tasting glass, unlimited tastings from local breweries, wineries, distilleries, and snacks from Blue Plate Catering. So that's cool. That's for twenty five dollars for their general admission. And then or, for $10 more, $35, you can go in an hour early, boom, <laughs> VIP ticket. So check that out. Of course, must be 21 or older to attend this one because, well, there's alcohol there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe boom. I should treat you guys to this one. Maybe this is this Well, is Jeremy, I'm only 16 years old, so. Oh, crap. <laughs> That's spot the lies. And we're going to leave that right there and uh, take a quick break. Coming up next, we're opening up the Fitchburg Digest with a dose of reality. Stay tuned. You're watching Talking Fitchburg.